Hi there, welcome to the Schwoben's Nest. My name is Sandra. Today I am joining my very good friend Sonia over at Domestic Diva DIY for a Pinterest inspired challenge. If you have not seen Sonia's channel, you've got to go over and check it out. She does some amazing dollar store DIYs, farmhouse decor, thrift store flips, and she does amazing furniture flips as well. The DIY I'm going to share with you today is a pumpkin patch farmhouse sign. This is going to be made from this placemat, which is actually a hard on one side and cork on the other side. It came from Dollarama and you can see here that I have already made it over once. I'm going to make it over again. I'm just taking some sandpaper and sanding down all of the lettering so it doesn't show through the paint when I go over it again. Originally, I had glued on the lemon picture, so after I sanded it, I was able to just grab that paper and peel it right off. Made it so much easier for me. I'm going to start by using this Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Maui Sand. It's a really beautiful dark gray, and I'm going to give this just one thick coat and then I'll let it dry. The second step is taking some country gray chalk paint, which is a little bit of a lighter gray color, and I'm just gonna dry brush around the edges a bit. I don't need to go all the way into the center because that's going to be painted a different color. Next, I'm going to use some white chalk paint and I'm gonna start in the middle and feather it out to the end so there's not so much white paint at the edges. I want more of the white paint in the center and less of the white paint on the edges. So it's going to be a bit of a dry brushing on the edges, but nice and solid in the center. I am sure that there are going to be a bunch of YouTube creators participating in this challenge. What I'd love for you to do when you're done with my video is click on that playlist link that's down in my description box. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or some tea and get comfy. Watch all of that Pinterest inspiration. You are sure to find some inspiration yourself to create your own home decor, but if nothing else, it'll be beautiful to watch. Here's a look at my Pinterest inspiration. This is a cute sign. I love the weathered look of it. It's very farmhouse and the muted greens and grays are just perfect for the fall season. Now that all the paint is dry, it comes time to actually put the letters on. I don't have any stencils to use for these letters and I don't have a Cricut. So I decided to do some freehand lettering. I'm not going to bore you with watching me pencil line all of this out, but I will show you in a minute how I fill it in. The pencil lines are kind of hard to see, but in a close up here, you can kind of see that I've got them lined up there and ready to go. I'm using my fine tip craft smart paint pen in black and I'm just going to start doing the letters as best I can. I've got my iPad sitting next to me so I can see how the letters look and I'm just going to go for it. So it took me about an hour to do all of these letters now. It probably would have taken a little bit less time if I wasn't watching TV in between. But I didn't want you to have to sit through all of that. I think the letters turned out pretty nice. I am happy with how they look so far. I'm just going to finish off these bottom letters which are in more of a handwriting and then I'll add in the pumpkin. I'm using my Craft Smart pen again to color in the head of the arrow, but then I'm going to switch to my thicker point and do the line of the arrow all the way across. Now I'm going to paint on the pumpkin. 
it is penciled in there and the color I'm going to use is sort of a soft mossy green color it's not too dark and I'm just going to use an artist brush and then make it look like it's been stenciled on Pumpkins are actually not that difficult to draw. You start off with an oval, sort of an egg shape, and then you draw some quarter moon shapes or some banana shapes on either side of it, and then add a few smaller shapes up on the top, and you've got yourself a pumpkin. Don't forget the stem. I'm really happy with how my sign is turning out. That green pumpkin is probably my favorite part of it. I love that mossy green color. It's my absolute go-to green color because it's just so soft and muted. What I'm doing now is taking my white chalk paint and a dry brush and I'm going to need to distress those really dark bright letters and numbers and the arrow. On my inspiration, it's really weathered. It looks like some of it's peeling off or maybe that it's been sanded off, but I didn't want to do any sanding because I didn't want to take off any of the paper that's on this actual placement. The other thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to use my brush and stipple some of the paint on. So it's not just brush strokes that you see, it's more of a stippled aged look and it really adds to the character of the sign. Here's a side-by-side -side look of the original Pinterest inspiration on the left and my duplication on the right. I'd like to thank Sonia for hosting this Pinterest inspired DIY challenge. It was a lot of fun recreating that sign. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and stick around a while. You can also hit the blue bell to get notified when I upload new videos. See you in the next one.